Hey guys, it's Mrs. Moylan. Tonight's homework is to uh, make sure that you have finished number 7 through 12, and then when you're done with that, you're going to watch um, the video to check your work. Make sure that you're stopping to pause if you're not sure how to do something. Uh, make sure you take notes so that we can talk about it in class before your test on Wednesday. All right, number one. Carly wanted her room painted a new color. Her dad painted one-fourth, that's a key number, of her room on Saturday, and five-twelfths of her room on Sunday which shows the amount of the room that has been painted so far. So we've got our fractions and we're gonna want to add them. Our common denominator between four and 12, we could use 12, and that would be times three times three, giving us three twelfths. So then we have three twelfths plus five twelfths, which is eight twelfths. And if you look at the pictures, they're each cut into 12 equal sections. So we're looking for the one that has eight twelfths shaded. So this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, so we can eliminate that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eliminate that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of twelve are shaded. And then this one would be twelve out of twelve. So we could eliminate our choices and end up with B is a correct option. For number eight, it says what is the distance between point T and point V? So you need to know exactly how far apart these are. Here's your two whole numbers, 2 and 3. And in between them, they've got 1, 2, 3, 4 sections. So that means each line is representing 1 fourth. So now all I have to do is count my fourths from T to V. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, seven fourths. Well, that's an improper fraction, so I would want to turn that into a mixed number. Seven divided by four, four goes in once with three left over, so one and three fourths would be the correct distance. You could also do four minus two and one fourth. You could take where V is and subtract where T is and that would give you three and four fourths, which would give you the same answer of one and three fourths. Either way that you chose to answer that would work. For number nine, Kyle bought a board of wood 60 inches wide, so inches goes with 60, to cover a broken window. He cut 5.25 inches from the width of the board for another project and then cut 6.5 inches for his neighbor. The question is, how wide is the remaining piece of the board? So he started with 60 and he took away 5.25 plus 6.5. So we can add those two together, 5.25 plus 6.5. So he cut out 11.75 inches. So we're gonna subtract that from 60. Remember, you always have to line up your decimals and then we're going to need to borrow. So this will become a 5, and this will become a 10, but then we'll borrow 1 from that, so it becomes a 9, and this becomes a 10. Then we borrow 1 from that, that becomes a 9, this becomes a 10. 10 minus 5 is 5, 9 minus 7 is 2, 9 minus 1 is 8, and 5 minus 1 is 4. So he's left with 48.25 inches. Number 10, Jerry has joined a gym. He has kept a chart of how long he has worked out for three days. His friend Frank has worked out for a total of 10 hours. So these are our key numbers to start with. And the question is, how much longer did Frank work out than Jerry? So how much longer, that's our clue that we're gonna want to subtract. But first we have to figure out how long Jerry worked out. We can add two numbers at a time, two and three fourths and then we can add that to 1 and 5 sixths. Common denominator would be 12. So times 3 times 3 gives us 9 twelfths. And times 2 times 2 gives us 10 twelfths. So that's 19 twelfths. And then our whole number is 2 plus 1 equals 3. Then we can add that to 2 and 1 third. Still keeping 12 as our common denominator times 4 times 4. So then we've got 19 twelfths 
plus 4 twelve, so 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23 twelfths, and then 3 plus 2 is 5. 23 twelfths is an improper fraction, so we've got to turn that into a mixed number. Goes in once with 11 twelfths left over. So all together, all together, Jerry worked out um, 6 and 11 twelfths hours. Then we need to figure out how much longer Frank worked out. So it tells us that Frank worked out 10 hours, and we're going to want to subtract 6 and 11 twelfths. Can't take 11 twelfths away from nothing, so we have to borrow. This becomes a 9, and we would borrow 12 twelfths because that's one whole. 12 twelfths minus 11 twelfths is 1 twelfth. And 9 minus 6 is 3. So 3 and 1 twelfth hours is how much longer he worked out than Jerry. Number 11, Amanda's grandfather, grandmother gave her a $200 gift card to spend on new clothes. So we know that she's starting with $200. She found a pair of jeans for $62.34, a jacket for $77.11, and a shirt for $42.95. How much can Amanda spend on a pair of shoes? So that's assuming that she buys all of the items that she found. So let's see how much she spent to begin with. She spent $62.34 plus $42.95. So that would be $105.29. And she also buys the jacket for $77.11. So that would be 7 plus 5, carry the 1. So she spent $182.40. So to figure out how much she has left, we would have to subtract how much she spent from the total. So 200 minus 182.40. Going to have to borrow. This becomes a 1. And again, that's going to be a 10 and then a 9, a 10 and then a 9. And then this becomes a 10. 9 minus 2 is 7. 9 minus 8 is 1. So she has $17.60 left to spend on a pair of shoes. And then the last question, Christine's family is flying to Hawaii. If the flight takes eight and a half hours, how much longer do they have to go after five and seven eighths hours? So how much longer? That means that we're going to want to subtract eight and a half minus 5 and 7 eighths. 8 would be our common denominator, so we would do times 4, times 4, giving us 4 eighths. Can't do 4 minus 7, so we have to borrow 1. 1 and 4 eighths is what I've got, so I change that into an improper fraction. 1 times 8 is 8, plus 4 is 9, 10, 11, 12 eighths. 12 eighths minus 7 eighths is 5 eighths, and then 7 minus 5 is 2. So 2 and 5 eighths hours is how much they have left on their trip.